Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Facebook page post on LinkedIn company page. Suppose I am having an event management company and to promote my business, I am also running a Facebook page. And now I want that as soon as I will post something on my Facebook page, the same post should also be shared on my LinkedIn company page. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software, Pabli Connect. Now here we have Facebook page in our trigger and LinkedIn in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share our Facebook page post on LinkedIn company page. Now I have created an automation by setting up an integration between Facebook pages and LinkedIn. And with that, whenever I'm going to share a new Facebook page post, automatically the same post will be shared on my LinkedIn company page. Let me show you a live example over here. So I am going to create a new post over here on my page Sparkle Evenings. So let's say I have an event management company and to promote that I'm running a Facebook page with the name as Sparkle Evenings. And now in order to announce a new winter celebration party, I am creating a post over here on my Facebook page. So here I have entered the content and now I'm going to click on post. And as soon as I have created a post over here, within seconds we will find that automatically the same post is also shared on my LinkedIn company's page. And yes, we can find that the post is shared here on my LinkedIn company page along with the link. Let me open it. This is the link of my page and here we can find the post. So now we are going to create this automation step by step together by using Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which allows us to integrate multiple applications and create automations without any coding or programming skills. And this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by tapping pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once you will reach on this home page, we can find that there are two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, User, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we create and we can also create folders over here in order to save our workflows. So here I have two folders. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on the dashboard. Now, to create a new workflow, we will have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to to this workflow so first of all let us provide a name over here share facebook page post on linkedin company page after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow so from the drop down i have selected test integrations folder and now we will click on create as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here in this workflow, we are going to take Facebook pages in our trigger and LinkedIn in our action and we want that as soon as a new post will be created on our Facebook page automatically the response of that post should be captured here in Pabli Connect and by using that same response automatically the same post should be shared on our LinkedIn company page. So here we can find that the action is the response towards our trigger. So when the trigger happens, then only the action also happen. Okay, now after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application that is Facebook pages. So let's select it. And now we need to select the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So we will simply select new post as our trigger event as we want that whenever we will create a new post on our Facebook page, the response of that post should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow should get automatically start. Okay, let's click on connect. 
and here from the given options i am going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my facebook pages account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that let's click on connect with facebook pages and we can find that our authorization has become successful because i was already logged into my facebook account my authorization has become successful very easily and now facebook pages is automatically connected with pably connect so you also have to keep in mind always to keep logged into your applications before making the connection with pably connect now we will move further and after building the connection here we have to select our page on which we want to create the post okay so the name of my page is sparkle evenings let, let me click on switch now so I have now switched to the page. Now what we are going to do, we will select the same page Sparkle Evenings here in Pabli Connect. So from the drop down, we can find the option of Sparkle Evenings and I have selected it. In the same manner, you have to select the page and now we will click on save and send test request. As we do that, we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response. That means now we have to do a test submission by creating a new post on our Facebook page, which we have selected over here so that the response could be captured here in Pably Connect. Okay. Okay. So let me take you towards my Facebook page. And now here I'm going to create a post. Okay. And now I'm going to enter the content. Okay, so this is the content, Christmas, a time of reflection, a time for good cheer, a time for friends and family during a special time of the year. We are glad to announce a huge Christmas party, passes are out, collect them soon. So this is the content of the post and now I will simply post this content and here my post is created. So basically I have created a post related to the announcement of the Christmas party which my event management company Sparkle Events is going to organize and now I want that as soon as I have created this post on my Facebook page the same post should also be shared on my LinkedIn company page. So we will go back towards Pabli Connect and here we can find that we have already received the response of the post which we have recently created in our Facebook page. So here are all the details form ID, form name, message that is the content of the post here is our content post id and other details so because we have successfully received this response that means we have built a connection between facebook pages and pably connect so we will move further and now by using this response we are going to create a post on our linkedin company page so let us select our action application as linkedin okay now we will select the action event that is going to be create company text post okay let's select that we will click on connect and here from the given options, I am going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my LinkedIn account. We will click on connect with LinkedIn and here we will click on sign in. And with this, our authorization has become successful. Now, after building the connection between LinkedIn and Pably Connect, we will move further. And here we need to enter the details in these fields to create a new post. First of all, it is asking us for the organization name. So the organization name is selected correct as PabsCon over here. So we will move further. Okay, the next is the content, content of the post. Okay, so we have already received the content of the post from Facebook pages. So we are simply going to map the data over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. Here we can find that our previous step that is Facebook pages new post is given. When we will select that here are all the details related to the post. So whatever data we want, we will simply select that and it will be mapped automatically over here. So here I have mapped the content. Why I have mapped the content instead of entering it manually? Because because I want that whenever I will create a new post on my Facebook page and the response of that post will be captured here in Pably Connect when the workflow will run in real time, automatically this content should get replaced with a new content of a new post. But in case if we will enter it manually, then it will not change with each and every response and then it will not take the new data into consideration. And therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use mapping. And whenever we will enter something manually here in this workflow, it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. So we will move further now. And the next thing it is asking us is the article preview URL. Now here in this field, we have to enter a URL by clicking on which we can reach towards the post. So from the response, we have not received any kind of URL related to the post. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to enter the URL of my Facebook page so that by clicking on the link, we can directly reach towards the Facebook page and we can check out the post. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to go towards my Facebook page and from the URL, I'm going to copy the page link and now I'm going to paste it here in the field of article preview link. Okay. So because I have entered it manually, so it has 
become static now and it is not going to change with each and every response now we will move further the next it is asking us is the title so title of the post which we want to share on our linkedin company page here i am going to enter it manually so that it could become static new post so this is my title new post and now here i am going to enter a description so because i am sharing this post on my linkedin company page i am going to write this description for my team members so that they could check out the recent post of our company i am simply going to enter hello team check out our new facebook page post regards so this is our description and now we have to keep the visibility as public okay after entering all the details let's click on save and send test request and here we have received the response along with the id of the post which is recently shared on our linkedin company page let's go back and check and here we will refresh the page once and we can find that yes the post is shared on my linkedin company page automatically with the same content and along with the link of the page let us check out this post with the help of this link and it has redirected us towards the facebook page where we can check out our post okay so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between facebook pages and linkedin and now whenever we are going to share any post on our facebook page automatically the same post will also be shared here on our linkedin company page so let us go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here on this workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken facebook pages and in action we have taken linkedin and we have connected both of them by using public connect in such a way that now whenever a new post will be shared on our facebook pages automatically the same post will also be shared on our linkedin company page and in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation by setting up a simple integration between facebook pages and linkedin with the help of public connect so So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.